Vesi Kialo, it is the ninth day of December 2016. Well, I trust that you've had a great day. If not, I'll try and make it better by 10.30. Apart from that, of course, we have the latest news updates. We have the latest in regards to the health crisis here in the country. And in regards to my guest tank, as you can see, this is all or ready and I will be hosting some of Kenya's best comedians. I have Njugush, I have Man Kush, and I also have Aman Singh Deep. They're going to be joining me later on in the show tonight. We also have Willis the Word Master who's going to be joining me live from Kisumu County. And so as you know it, you better start tweeting me those difficult words that uh, give you problems when it comes to pronunciations like onion and onion and so much more. I'm excited to be with you tonight. Let's get this started with the highlights. Getting to the white smoke, hopes of a deal between government and nurses to end strike. We are therefore asking the doctors also to come back on the negotiating table and be also reasonable in their demands. They should not ask the private institutions not to provide service. We are not the problem. Governors insist as doctors stay away from talks. Amina Mohammed faces off with rivals in AU Commission Chairperson debate. You are 49. You mean you are 49? Come on, you may breathe out. You can breathe in, you can breathe in, you can breathe in, you can breathe in. I have a three of them. I have a three of them, I have a three of them, and I have a three of them. Indian people, we are the ones making the most babies. We should be knowing where these babies are coming from. And the serious business of cracking jokes for a living. Comedians on Friday Briefing tonight. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Our sign language interpreter is William Silla. Now, we begin at Nairobi's Afia House, the headquarters of the health ministry, where sources say great progress was made between the nurses' union and the government on the talks to end the nurses' strike. Well, sources also say the doctors from the Kenya Defense Forces toured the Kenyatta National Hospital as the government considers the idea of using KDF to help in critical medical emergencies. Well, KTN's Timothy Otieno is going to be uh, telling us more about that. Let's just have that story right now. All right, so we'll be having that story on the latest in regards to the health strike. And like I mentioned today, there seems to be light at the end of the tunnel because great progress was made between the government and the nurses union. So let's just get to know what exactly happened today. Day five of a biting medical workers strike in Kenya saw an uncharacteristic calm at the health ministry's headquarters where for more than five hours nurses union officials engaged government in negotiations. By Friday evening, sources close to the negotiations told KTN News that indeed there could possibly be some white smoke on an issue that has already resulted in the death of more than 20 people countrywide. There has been progress in negotiations between the two levels of government and the nurses. But even as nurses appeared to be heading for a deal, medical doctors on the other hand remain adamant that they will accept nothing less than a 300% pay increment promised to them through a 2013 collective bargaining agreement. A stand that has already attracted the attention of the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentists Board who have threatened to take disciplinary action against those who withhold medical services across private facilities next week. My very humble advice is that both you and the government should go and sit on a table today without preconditions, get into a return to work formula. You don't go to negotiate when nobody wants to move. Negotiation means this side will move, this side will move. Please go and do that with government today. In Bomet County, however, it's business as usual for medics there who have now agreed to sign a return-to-work agreement with the county government on Monday next week. 
It's a situation replicated in the counties of Makweni, Kiambu, Wajia and Nakuru where medical officers distanced themselves from the ongoing strike after hammering out deals with their respective county governments. The Kenya National Union of Nurses is expected to issue a press statement Saturday. And speaking about the ongoing health workers strike, President Uhuru Kenyatta has said the action by the medics to down their tools as they push for their demands was a betrayal against Kenyans who need health services. Victor Gale has the details. Speaking after touring the Kiricho level 4 hospital, President Kenyatta argued that as much as the medics were fighting for their welfare, yet their primary responsibility was to treat patients requiring urgent medical services at the public hospitals. The president, who was accompanied by Deputy William Ruto, Energy CS, Charles Ketero and Governor Paul Chipkorn, launched a state-of-art intensive care unit, X-ray and dialysis machine as part of the 400 million jubilee project. <laughs> Politics also took center stage during the tour, which had been billed as the president's maiden developmental tour of Kiricho County. With Kenyatta assuring Rift Valley residents that he will endorse Ruto for the presidency in the 2022 general election. He lashed at the opposition for engaging in divisive politics, saying the Jubilee government in three years has managed to transform lives through developmental projects in health, education and other sectors. With one objective, usikubali kuingizwa katika siyasa ya mgawanyiko. Uwezi ukasaidiwa na kabila laku. Uwezi yata ukasaidiwa na jamii yaku. The president also added his call for James Finley's and Unilever Tea Company to surrender land for expansion of Kiricho Town into city status. He launched the Kiricho Kipchimchim Thessalia and Brook Chepseyon Kebeneti Roads, which is expected to ease traffic along Kisumu Kiricho Nairobi Highway. The president's... All right, so before we wind up our health crisis uh, coverage tonight, we have our big question in which today we are asking you, how has the health worker strike affected the area uh, that you live in? There are very many Kenyans who have been affected by the health worker strike. We've seen unfortunate cases of people who have uh, lost lives, and we're asking you tonight, how has this health worker strike affected the area that you live in? It has been uh, five days, and so we'd like to hear your uh, feedback on that. Tweet me at Betty and Kialo or use the hashtag Friday briefing or you can also choose to use the number 22155 to text in and I will be taking a look at your responses throughout the show tonight. Right, to some politics now, and a money National Congress Party leader, Musalia Mudavadi, has been endorsed by ANC's National Governing Council as a party's presidential flag bearer. In his acceptance speech, Mudavadi called upon his fellow opposition leaders to move with speed and unveil the much touted National Super Alliance in order to begin what he termed as a final liberation of Kenya. <laughs> It was here at Amani House, the headquarters for ANC party, that the National Governing Council formally gave the party leader Msalia Mdavadi the green light to contest for presidency, as well as form an alliance with like-minded parties. Wazungu na wahenga wanasema tumefika ukweli atwezi feature. We either sail together or sing together. Iyo haitakuwa sasa ni siyasa ya Kenya. We shall all sail together. But as anticipated, it's the talk about a super alliance that took center stage 
with the CIR Senator James Orengo, who was representing code leader Raila Odinga, setting the ball rolling. Lakini sisi sasa, we have a penalty. And you saw Raila Amolo Odinga with Kalonzo Musioka, with Raila Odinga. Now, there is somebody who amongst them is going to take this penalty. Unajua amebaki na ball, yeah. To colleagues in opposition, that the National Super Alliance, NASA, movement belongs to Kenyans. We will betray Kenyans if we dither and play catch up as leaders. It is not worth our time to debate an acronym. Let us discard pettiness. The question is not about who but what we do for Kenya. Then see leader Msalia Mdavadi calling upon Kenyans to rally behind the opposition to oust Jubilee. Kenya is bleeding. Kenya is mourning. Kenya is on the deathbed. Kenya needs nationalists like you and me and millions of other patriots to come to its rescue. We must be bold and make painful sacrifices to regain our country. Na kama kuna mtu anatoa shishi, wameona vile umetembea siku mbili tatu, hata inchi katetemeka. Hii sasa ni tsunami ambayo inakuja. Regarding plans by Muranga Senator Kembi Getura that Nairobi County be abolished, the ANC Supremo said it's not by surprise, claiming Jubilee regime has always been plotting on how to kill devolution. Now they have become more capricious. They want to clandestinely change the constitution to control all urban areas under national government. As he promised to ensure the opposition super alliance becomes a reality very soon. <laughs> The focus now shifts to Wiper Party next week, Tuesday, which will now join Ford Kenya, ODM and ANC in endorsing their party leaders as flag bearers, setting the stage for the final push for the opposition main parties in picking a flag bearer to face Jubilee's President Uhuru Kenyatta. And with that endorsement, Msalia Mdavadi now joins the League of President Uhuru Kenyatta, Moses Wetangula and ODM party leader Raila Odinga, who've already been given the green light to contest for next year's presidential election, even as Msalia Mdavadi maintains that for the opposition, they either unite or perish together. Duncan Hemba, KTN, Nairobi. All right, let's now go to our continuing series of 47 days of accountability. And tonight, we focus on the county of Mombasa. Abi again will take us through the audit queries raised about their spending. Abi, thank you so much for joining us. Over to you. What is uh, this report um, in regards to Mombasa County all about? Well, many thanks, uh, Betty Chalo. Of course, uh, we keep on with the 47 days of accountability, and today we are focusing on County 001, that being Mombasa County, and this comes on the back of the Auditor General's report that spans from 2014-2015 financial year. Let's now take a look at our Super Bowl just to take a look on some of the key areas that the county has had the Auditor General raise queries, and we start you off with a look at the staff medical cover. Well, according to the Auditor General's report, 33.2 million Kenya shillings, that is the contract for medical cover, and uh, the contract was actually terminated due to non-performance, and this was the amount that the Auditor General had cited. And uh, another interesting figure in the next slide, that is 27.5 million had already been paid by this time. This sort of shows you the mismatch in terms of the accounting part on the county. Well, let's move on to another interesting aspect. Well, the other slide is on photocopying paper and antivirus. So the county spent 704,000 shillings 
on matters to do with the photocopying paper and antivirus software. Well, interesting numbers there. And it doesn't stop there. Let's take a look at some of the seating allowances that went to the MCAs of Mombasa County that raises a lot of concern in terms of financial management. Well, according to the auditor's report, we are seeing in this next slide where um, close to 1.6 million shillings uh, was actually paid out to MCAs for attending the Pwani Forum that was actually held about three weeks ago. And more interestingly is that allowances were paid for two days and the invitation was just for one day, raising serious questions around how that came about. Well, the other interesting aspect we're seeing around the MCAs was on the excess seating allowances. So. The Auditor General's report shows you that 3.3 um, million shillings was go, uh, actually went to pay the MCAs for their sitting allowances. And if you do the math um, uh, and put together the sitting allowances for MCAs and the excess sitting allowances, this comes to 4.9 million shillings. Well, that's one of the baffling numbers we have from the county. Well, the other area that also um, the auditor raised concerns around was on the mortgages and car loans to MCAs, and um, it's totaling to about um, 7.4 million shillings uh, that actually was uh, bank loan default by 33 MCAs. Well, this also shows you the grave um, alleged financial misappropriation uh, uh, at the county government. And uh, finally, the other area of concern that came out according to the auditor's report of course is on the education sponsorships for the MCAs and the county assembly sponsored various MCAs to study in universities but the interesting aspect around this is 2.3 million balance owed to universities for MCAs fees that's just some of the highlights that we were able to pick out from the auditor general's report on Mombasa County we are yet to see a lot more from the other counties in our 47 days of accountability. Back to you, Becky. Becky. Thank you very much, uh, Abby, again there. Now, Katie and Francis and Tomo went deeper into the Auditor General's report for 2014 and 2015 and sought answers from the county government on the queries raised about their spending. The Auditor General's queries on County 001 Mombasa stretches from financial misconduct, wastage in financial administration, to utter contravention of the law on key areas of governance. Top on the highlights, the report faults the county for still allowing the operationalization of some 10 bank accounts of the defunct municipal council, contrary to the Public Finance Management Act 2012. This is raising a storm. <laughs> At the newly refurbished Coast Provincial General Hospital, the Auditor General questions why some 150 million shillings collected from the facility was spent at source instead of remitting the funds to the Revenue Collection Bank account. Article 207 of the Constitution disagrees with Mombasa. The Constitution is clear, the Public Finance Management Act on the sensitive functions. The Health Department is still um, running under the old act which was applied by national government where they were allowed to use funds at source. During the year under scrutiny, Mombasa County government is accused of having incurred some 24 million shillings to fund the Council of Governors activities. The expenditure, the Auditor General says, was not in the first place provided for in the approved county government's budgetary estimates. And if anything, the Auditor supposes that this is the mandate of the Treasury. Mombasa County does have a rented office at the Council of Governors and it is useful to us. And of course, with a rented office, we have to pay rent. And that's what that money went to. The spotlight is on the County Assembly too. Apart from delaying the passing of the crucial finance bill 2014 by some 50 days, the Auditor General fears that some fishy deals might have undergone for the Assembly to purchase Kaspersky antivirus at a cost of 245,000 shillings. The MCAs are again accused of receiving allowances amounting to 1.9 million to attend the Jumuiya County's Apuani Forum, an occasion the Auditor General says they had not been invited to in the first place. I refuse to be part of uh, that thing. In the first place, the Jumuiya thing, I've never understood it up to date. I don't see anything like that in the Constitution. Time and again, Mombasa has cited economic marginalization as the reason why substantial progress has not been recorded. 
the county government forced the Commission for Revenue Allocations Formula on Mombasa. Ni haki ya watu wa Mombasa kupata pato linalotoka katika bandari ya Mombasa. Kwa sababu hii ni rasilimali ambayo iko katika county yao. For one years of gasping to control revenue from twin giant corporations, the Kenya Ports Authority and the Kenya Ferry Services has not succeeded. Four years into devolution and the Auditor General still feels that some areas are going beyond the pale. Many analysts agree that prudent utilization of public resources remains key to the success of devolution. Francis Otomwa, KTN News, Mombasa. Now the Governor's Council has trained its guns on KTN News for highlighting the audit queries raised by the Auditor General. The Governor's criticized KTN News claiming the figures in the audit report are not accurate. Here's the Chairman Peter Munya. Those reports are not final. They are opinions from one side of the audit. And until the county governments are called either in the Senate or in the county assembly to provide the facts and then the Senate concludes those reports remain interim reports that cannot be cited as factual reports on what is obtaining in the counties. And therefore, I would want to ask the media, and especially KTN, not to continue misleading the public. Well, the 47 days of accountability continues here on KTN News from Monday. Now, Kenya's Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary, Amina Mohamed, has been facing off with four other candidates in a debate among those running for the post of chairperson of the African Union Commission. Well, let's listen in to the debate which is underway in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. All right, so we'll be getting back there. Seems like they have taken a break, but we'll be going back there shortly. All right, so we want to take a break here on uh, Friday briefing, but of course we are asking you on our big question tonight. How has the health workers' strike affected the area that you live in? Very many comments coming through. Let me just sample one or two tweets before we take that break. And um, all right, so Mondi Oreo, you say the health of infants is at stake. Uh, somebody here says uh, those suffering most are the poor who can't access private health facilities. All right, uh, Faustin, you say the kind of strike has actually affected negatively very many Kenyans. And um, somebody here by the name, all right, Oleche Pens, you say free services such as access to ARVs have been affected by the strike. Thank you so much for your comments. Do keep them coming and I'll continue to sample them as we come back from this break. So we take this break and we'll be coming back shortly. And remember, like I told you... And welcome back to Friday Briefing. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm seeing quite a number of tweets. People are excited that uh, they will be cracked up tonight. And so let's see if that's going to be happening. My guest anchors tonight, very interesting people. Njugush. Now this is the camera. Please. Yes, yes. Please. Yes. Hello, people. Okay, you don't have to say people. You can say, you know, other gentlemen, ladies. No, gentlemen. It's good to meet the gentlemen because Niko Nashida na wanaume abawa wanatebea bear chest. You know, mnaweza kuwa meugo na tebea bear chest, lakini sisi mmetuweka wapi? <laughs> Wanaume wa kulima wadogo. That's why tumeamua. Yeah, actually you are barefoot. Why are you barefoot? This Tumeamua kutabea. But why why is that in Jugush? See because we can't walk bear chest. Hatuna nini. We have nothing to show. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, Mankush. <laughs> The serious one, actually. <laughs> Apparently, you're also a pastor. How is, yeah. that, how is that possible? Well, uh, Apparently. So uh, please confirm that before you begin. Let me tell you something. Please do. God created us and gave us dominion. But dominion is power to rule. He didn't say exactly what you are going to rule. You can rule all ranks of your life. But now the problem is, you are being brought up by somebody who does not have the the knowledge uh -huh. that you have potential uh -huh. so when you 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 finish standard seven like uh, standard eight like, like this guy yes he thinks that he can go to gym <laughs> just to, to be six pack <laughs> instead of looking for six cars <laughs> 
So you should be looking for six for cars. Six cars instead of going to gym to look for six park. Lakini you, you must look for the cars in order for you to park. Hallelujah. <laughs> but you see you cannot buy a car when you don't have the parking. Okay. That's you joined the please parking. Uh, yeah. I beg to I beg to give up. <laughs> to give up. <laughs> I so beg, uh, our up. church is uh, yeah. based in uh, No seriously Hotel. but you are a pastor. Yes, I'm a pastor now for 16 years, but I have preached for 30 years. I've been evangelist in the whole country, going for crusades mm -hmm. everywhere, seminars. That's 30 years. Yeah, helping other pastors to open ministries. And so how how then did you, you know, think that you know I can actually pursue something in com in comedy? I just found myself uh, uh, being a comedian. How? How do you find Cause... yourself being? It's like me waking up today and saying, okay, you know what, I'm a news anchor, but hey, I'm, I'm funny. Well, it, it, depends, how, how it, it depends with what you have gone through. Okay. Because the problems that you go through, they are teachers. Mm -hmm. in, in school, you cannot learn what the, te the problems can teach you. Okay. You know, I'm a pastor. I'm a businessman. Mm -hmm. I'm a dog farmer. Dog farmer. Um, yes. Okay. I, 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 I farm Great Dens. Okay. The big, I think they are the biggest dogs. Uh, mm. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, also, I'm also a musician. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so you'll sing for us something. I will sing if you want me to sing. Of course you will. I won't let you go without singing. Thank you. But let's not come to Aman. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. So, uh, uh, but just, I just, I just want okay, to say... You cut a lady um, a short, but it's fine. It's okay. That's what comics do. We're oh. not good with ladies. That's why we are funny. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I, I, it was just shocking to me that Mankush over here yeah. has been doing comedy for 30 years. Yeah. And I'm just 22 years old. And my last so, born is 26 Wow. Years so, old. so he's been on stage performing technically for more than I have been alive. So that, that, that tells me a lot mm. about, about being on stage and experience. That's why when I see young people trying to be rich within a fortnight, mm -hmm. it really hurts me. That's why they are turning to be thieves. Mm -hmm. Some of them are so hopeless in life that they turn to drugs and what have you yes. because of being hopeless. The hunger. Because when I, I look young like him, they think we are of the same age. Mm. <laughs> but I have done, I have done something done more something. than them. All right. I've, been, I've been a pit rat in Diga. Really? For three years, yeah. Okay. My last, last, last pit rutting that I dug is in, is in Magumu at ACK Church. Is it free to use it? Or I'm sure now, yeah, it's free. I'm sure <laughs> now they have to charge in, it. In Ochas, in Ochas, it's not like in town. In Ochas, you mean like, like the rural yeah. areas? And they're the best ones because they're the do-do's ones. Okay, moving on <laughs> swiftly. Sure. Moving on swiftly. So, Aman, let me... Okay, so at least we know how they started comedy. And Jugush, I'm yet to know. Um, you know, how did you start comedy? At what point did you think I'm funny enough to go in front of a crowd and try to make them laugh? Oh, I, I guess it was a slow process. Basically, uh, you know, all, all my friends were like, oh, man, I, we think you're funny. I'm like, hey, you know, they're my friends. Mm. They, they can't be lying. <laughs> so I, I was in uni. Because they're lying. Yeah. Uh -huh. you, you know, sometimes friends are like that. So I was in uni. They had a, like a public whatever, public speaking yeah. uh, event mm. and it in, in the cafeteria. Worst place to perform, by the way. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hey, let's just try. So I went on stage, did the wor worst jokes ever. Okay. Well, I, Can you remember one of them? No. Okay. I, I do, but I don't want to say. Okay. Okay, there's this one. Let's just embarrass one more time. Uh -huh. You know, my sister's name is Just Smith. Just Smith. Yeah, and right. my father's like, learn from Aladdin. He, he impressed Jasmine. So, so I just switched Jasmine to Jasmine. Just me, okay. You see how bad it was? Yeah. That was horrible. <laughs> Very horrible. I'm still trying to think, okay, hmm, where is the joke? I forgot the premise. <laughs> That's right. okay, yeah. Okay. So I, I performed, no one laughed, the Japanese teacher. No one laughed. No, we had a Japanese teacher. Yeah. He looked at me like, all color singers are not funny. And I, I could see it in his eyes. I'm yeah. like, no, it's just me. Everyone else is funny. It's but you make, uh, you, know, make, you make a lot of fun about your community. I make why a fun is of that, Why is that? I, I don't know. I, if people are funny. I, I make fun of everyone. I've made fun of everyone as far as I can remember. All right. Yeah. So let's come to you, man, because you said you yes. could sing. Yeah. I mean, we, we know you can make us laugh. Mm -hmm. Just drop a line for us. Oh, well, what exactly do you want? Because... Uh, I mean, you sing in church, I'm sure. I'm s I, everywhere. Just sing something, just one of the best lines. Mokinyoro, mokinyoro, shaliondo on nakavo view carry and do atin the nagashati kero, karato kare and darina ko kogo moon in dashendi on namagutande wona dieha kaga mago kama. So for us who don't understand what what does that I'm song mean? I'm saying mm. those who go and tell others about me, 
they should go and tell them that I have changed the shirts. Mm. I'm now wearing a new one. Oh, lovely. I'm having a new coat. Mm -hmm. the, the, shoe that I, the shoe that I was wearing, yeah. which was as if it was reasoning to a phone, <laughs> uh, I changed it. And also the lotion is not for the milking, you know, oil. Yeah. 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 All right. So they should take they good should, news yeah, about good me. news, not you bad know, news you know, all you the know, time. You know, people talk bad things about you. Of course. Oh. The problem is, Tell if me. you reason. Mm -hmm. Never reason to what they say mm -hmm. because your ears are not dustbins. Oof. Oh, Jesus. you know what I mean? That's so profound. So I don't, Oof. I don't care what people say about me. I didn't go to look for somebody to to to, uh, to help me buy this suit. Uh -huh. So I don't need compliments. Do you think that that's the, the truth with very many people? They listen no, to no, a lot no, of no. noise. No, no, Many people, many people have never come to live. They live other people's life. Mm -hmm. When you shall come to live is when you shall realize that you don't need anybody's body to become somebody. Oof. Jeez. Preach. You get, you get me. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. And you 100%. don't need somebody to keep on telling you you are smart. Uh -huh. You know. You know it. You me. know. <laughs> That's why the Bible says in Psalms 139, verse 8, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm. Marvelous is the work of the Lord. And my soul knows this very well. well. Okay. So, so what, what can you say about that? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now, what am I supposed to say after that? Actually, it should, we should just end the show now. No, no, no. What am I supposed to say? No, I want you to react to that. Do you think that uh, where oh. we come and jugush, okay. people yeah. say Una six pack. Yeah. They, you know, people. <laughs> it's true. Manake people would always talk. Mm -hmm. There are some people who used to talk about very bad things about me. Like, for example, I remember Niki and Shule, they used to say, This guy will never go to a good school. Mm -hmm. I always want to go to Alliance. But Nilianza, from one, from two, from three, Nilianza in another school somewhere, Kwa Majani. Mm -hmm. It was Naro High School. No? Naro High School, somewhere Naro. in Kika, Kafuruge. <laughs> but believe it or not, that term, from three, I went to Alliance High School. Wow. Yeah, I went to Alliance. To my uncle and to Alliance. So you're going to deliver <laughs> he some distributes. supplies? Yeah, then after the holidays, I went back to my school. Anyway, people will always talk. Yeah. But what you do is that, people will always talk. Yeah, but the good thing is about people will talk to them. No matter the good or bad things you do, uh -huh. they'll always talk. So just be you. All right. Yeah. And then just talking about uh, just being you, do people meet you on the streets and they expect you to crack a joke and make them laugh? Yeah. And, and this is a problem I have. Like, man, I believe you wish to, to check cash. Do you <laughs> but the good thing about that? that, I start laughing and you like, <laughs> and then you laugh, so you're done. But uh, <laughs> you see you're laughing. You okay, see. stop. Uh -huh. I stop. Okay, can you just say? <laughs> we continue laughing. <laughs> I need some help here. Yeah. Okay, where's that fire extinguisher? Use that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so you're, 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 you're explaining something. Yeah, I was saying, yeah, it's, it's always, guys always expect you to, to make them laugh, and, and yeah, it's what we are called to do. Mm -hmm. Like when you, you find a Parsi, you expect him to tell words of wisdom. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. So when you tell me to crack a joke, yeah, but, but you get that a lot. And um, sasa tufanya nini? Na tulitua. Tulitua muito, tukaitikia. Who are we? Okay, then so speaking about being, uh, you know, being called. Mm. Mankush, so how are you able to differentiate yourself from being, you know, a man of God and, uh, you know, an artist? Let me tell you something. Whoever does not have rights of life, mm -hmm. that person does not even exist. And even he's not worthy to exist. That's why we have... What, a, what does lines mean? We have football field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a place you can hold the ball, and you are not the goalkeeper. It is hard ball. It is a penalty. Mm. But in the same field, you can still touch the ball, and it is a fault. Yes. Many problem of many people. They are like referees. They follow the ball for ninety minutes, looking for a mistake. There are mm -hmm. people following you, mm -hmm. looking for a mistake. And the only thing they have in them, nothing good can come out of their pocket. Mm. Is only a yellow card and a red card. <laughs> nothing to celebrate you. Okay. Now, if you reason to those people, mm -hmm. you'll, never, uh, you'll, never, you'll never exercise the potential that you have. But potential is untapped ability in you. Mm -hmm. Everybody has potential. It seems that you have been so affected by that because you keep talking about, even before the show, mm -hmm. you're so passionate about this particular <laughs> yes, topic. Yes, because, what because, happened to you? Because yeah. I, like, I like people to be themselves. Mm -hmm. Do you think people aren't themselves? They are not. Okay. If 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 Joro uh, was taught by Jugush. Jugush was taught by, by by his mother. Jugush, can you finish school so that you can go to your cousin at Grogon 
you can you so for you to be taught to be a mechanic and then to finish school he did, he do exactly like what the mother told mm. him mm -hmm. He does not exist. It is his mother who is existing in his life. That is why he will stay in Grogon destroying people's cars. <laughs> and even if you go to university like he did, he went to university to be a, 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 a marketer. A, a marketer. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But God created him to be a farmer. Mm -hmm. So it is called four wasted years. And that's the thing about, you know, some parents, you know, the parents, um, I'm sure you're a parent, yeah. you know, you, they force their children to do things for that's themselves. That's very bad. Okay. Nobody who is a name material. I always tell people my last born would have never been number one in school when they are going like this. Mm -hmm. He was number one when the rain turns. <laughs> okay. yeah? But I've never beaten the boy. Uh -huh. I was telling my boy, mm -hmm. please, can you try next time? At least somebody behind me behind you. Okay. I'm, an, get, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to, because a man is, a man, me and, and, and Jugus, we are not immaterials, mm -hmm. but we have something else have, better. Okay. You see, like now, you can be a comedian anytime. You can <laughs> really? go to town. Not yes. sure about you can that. go tomorrow, uh -huh. go to town center, look at the highest building, and start saying, kai, 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 Look there for 10 minutes. When you look around you, you'll have about 1,000 people looking up. <laughs> And everybody is telling the other one what is happening. What is up. happening up there? And then when you see all of them have gathered, sneak, stay far, look at them. They will stay there for three hours. Looking at the top of the building. Who was the visionary for this? <laughs> visionary. Actually, way. I used to score. I used to score. I used to get A's. Kila mtu kipatio karasasi yake A. But my A's were different. Uh -huh. When I get paper, nidi kuwa A. So it's true, we cannot all be a material. Some are A, eh, some are eh. A. Yeah. So Can I surprise you? Yeah. I didn't go to secondary school. Uh huh. How come? I did my CP in 1978, and I got 19 points. Is that good or bad? Is, I, I don't excuse know. Excuse me. I was called <laughs> names by my father, who was a teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What names? You are cow. You are son of a woman. You have ashamed me. I'm the teacher of the same school. But listen to me carefully. How could I get 35 or 36? And my father was beating my mom every evening. Mm -hmm. And in the morning, he's, he's the one who is teaching me geography. Could I see a teacher or a demon in human form? Wow. So I'm not a cow. It is the teacher who was teaching me, needed <laughs> to be taught before teaching me. <laughs> True. You get what I mean? So everybody who is watching here, let me tell you, even if you didn't go to school, you have something that God created in you. Mm -hmm. Can you exercise it? All right. Aman, talk about, uh, this, this is turning out to be so <laughs> intense. Yeah, you know? how, how do I top that? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I like to eat and sleep. <laughs> no. That just, he, <laughs> no, but seriously, how do you use, you know, the um, experiences? Because, I mean, listening to Man Kush, mm. I mean, he, it seems like, you know, he really um, uses his experiences, mm -hmm. you know, in the past to you know, to make who he is right now, in the, you know, right now, you know, and of course in the future. For you, I mean, are there experiences that you've had that have made you, you know, be this comedian that everybody is talking about? Oh yeah, sure, sure. I, I don't think <laughs> children just want to grow up and become comedians. Maybe, I don't know, some of them, you know, I don't know a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I've just been 22, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they are, they are, they are <laughs> I, I guess, yeah, there are experiences that have made me forcefully become a comedian. First of all, I think it's just being rebellious. You know, my, everyone's like, oh, you're, you're not funny. I'm like, I'll show you who's funny. Yeah. <laughs> me. <laughs> then uh, two weeks later, they see me on TV. Then it's like, oh, who told you? I told you. And what, <laughs> and what do your parents think about, you know, you being a comedian? First of all, do you have another um, hustle on the side? Other than being Indian, I think that's a hustle on itself. <laughs> Yeah, but... Uh, Being Indian is a hassle. Uh, trust me. <laughs> we can't build houses in Westlands now. It's, it's, it's terrible, mm. you know. That was unfortunate. Yeah. And uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, my parents, in the beginning, when I told them about the idea, I know, make people laugh. They're like, oh, you don't need stage. You make us laugh every day. No, I'm like, not you, mom and dad. I mean, people. <laughs> yeah. Make a career out of it. Yeah. Father's like, okay, I'll give you six months. Show me what you got. Okay. You know, at least you're supportive. So I, six months, I did something <laughs> he saw, and now he's fully supported. He, all, all my mom, my dad, my sister, all everyone behind me. All right, that's, yeah. that's, that's really good. Mm. Mankush, I want to talk about opportunities. I mean, we've seen, you know, ladies like Mamita, she's, you know, incredibly yeah, she's funny. Yeah, doing very well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, breaking the boundaries, and you're doing that too. Mm -hmm. I mean, being, you know, a pastor on Sunday and, you know, so many other things. Mm -hmm. What does that say about, about breaking boundaries? You know, you're so boxed into something. 
Uh, you, you see, when, when, uh, when I was growing up, I was, uh, we were having chickens. And I watched one chicken when it was incubating the eggs. When 21 days were over, mm -hmm. the chicken did not break the shell of any chick. Mm -hmm. It just went out and start calling them. So it was upon every chick to crack, to crack on its own. On its own. The one which does not crack that shell, mm -hmm. it dies therein. Mm. So everybody has work. Don't wait for anybody to crack the shell for you. Oh. Crack the shell for yourself because you have power. That's why you have God created you and gave you dominion, mm. power, power to rule. For example, now, when he brought the first man in Eden, mm. as the Bible says, he was told, cultivate, cultivate. Right. You know, change, change the land. So God did not do anything. For, 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 like now, a man is not married. Yeah. Can I tell him something? Please do. You will never get married to your oh. wife. You'll just get married to a woman. You make her a wife. Because the wife is not in the woman. The wife is material to make the woman. The woman you will need is here. If I tell you right now to draw, to, to draw, no, no, listen to me. If I tell you uh, in Jugush, to draw a cow, can you pick a pen? Yes, do like this. And this is a paper. Draw a cow. Before you start, where is the cow? It's, it's in yeah. your head. It's in your head. So what do you want to do here? Is to take what is in your head, put it on the paper for us to see. So there is work for him to crack and okay. tell, and I want to tell somebody, without money in this world, oh, you'll be even beaten by your own dog. Mm. How do you get money? Money is a reward after solving somebody's problem. Right. So you have to brook for somebody who has a problem, solve the problem, get money. Mm -hmm. What about the rest of people? Who does not want to change, cultivate, mm -hmm. they'll never get money. But young people are saying there are no opportunities. No out opportunities. There. Who taught them that? God says, I'll bless the work of your hands. Who have started washing cows around the village? Is that not a job? Who, who are these young people? I, I don't know anyone who's saying there are no opportunities. No, no, they are there people. There are opportunities. Mm -hmm. What? There are opportunities. Like now, every no young jobs. person thinks, thinks, think that going to music, because everybody else is a musician. And you find somebody even, you, can't, you don't want even to listen to him. Mm -hmm. But he can be a very good composer mm. and give the composition to Jugush. To an artist. Mm. To an artist. Mm -hmm. yeah? And you get something at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah. And it is good he used the analogy of the, the chicks cracking out of the eggs because that's what we are doing. We are cracking jokes. <laughs> ah. Okay, Jugush, Shani, what to now like this? Down, down, down. I okay. was trying to add something to make <laughs> your pants are, 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 are amazing. <laughs> My pants, you know, because of the cheese. Yeah, I mean, Jugush, the, the other thing about, you know, comedy, does it have money? I mean, you, you, you do this oh thing. God, Let's has. talk to us about it this. Has. It has. Let, me, let, let, let me start. Maybe can Jugush maybe start and okay. then you, you finish? No, if I, start, I, I, I need to answer that also. Okay. Okay. Jugush, no. just say something about um, that. I, I, I'd say, just like any other career, mm. Um, there is money, just like any other career. Mm -hmm. But it depends with how much you're pushing. Mm. Uh, you ca just can't stay there and you're like, yeah, there's money, and you're not working for it. Right. You must work for it mm -hmm. in every institution, in every career. You must work for what. So if you work, there is money, and that's why we are here. Uh, from Monday to Monday, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know nothing else. I know nothing else. I and I left. Why? Because that was not me. Mm -hmm. This is what I love. This is what I love doing. So, Kamba uh, nafanya hivo, but you know, ni mianza kunona. Kidogo tu. Kidogo somewhere. In there. <laughs> well, uh, when I say there is money in comedy, out of what he does, he is picked by many companies to advertise mm -hmm. their product. Mm -hmm. Okay? If he did not crack the shell, mm. it could be some way of just picking the tea. Right. I am am an MC. I MC. You okay. get money. I get money. MCing I get from 50,000 up to, one, up to 200,000. Mm -hmm. One is, is two few hours. Okay. Yeah? I, 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 am, I am a counselor because okay. I have done counseling. Mm -hmm. 
I go to cancel people, students in school, churches, groups. They pay me. But is that comedy? That's just you, you being at the end. Even the Bible, the whole of it is full of comedies. Mm -hmm. Number Just one, mm -hmm. Moses dropped the load. It turned to a snake. And God told Moses, pick it. Moses was a shepherd. He knows what the snake does to the cows. Right. So Moses started running away. <laughs> because he know he, and he I think in his heart he told God if heaven you pray with snakes down here we, <laughs> we don't, don't play, play with snakes, snakes. <laughs> right. no? okay. and even when he reached the Red Sea yeah. and, the, and the water divided he was not the first one to get in because mm -hmm. he was also not trusting the water <laughs> he told the guys who were following him you needed a way it is here. He yeah. was the last one. Yeah. When he, oh, he was made the last sure one. that the water is not coming back. It's not back. coming back. All right. So it's full of stories. Okay. All right. So we'll come back to this conversation later. But I want us to have the guest anchor. And Jogosh, I think he'll do a good job in yeah. that. Yeah? No, no, no. It's not here. No. I try and behave. You had already started. Sina Vianu again in news that has my way. But that, okay. I think we should get you a pair of shoes by the end of the show tonight. Yeah, so okay. There you go. Have a seat. Have you ever done this before? Here, no, not sitting, no, no, yeah. goodness, not sitting, no, but I've never done reading the news, no? I've always wanted to read the news. You've always wanted to read the news. Yeah. Okay, fine. And here's your opportunity. Yeah. So, and don't start in Ampenzi Mskilizaji. Mskilizaji? Mskilizaji. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, introduce yourself and... Uh, so, I must use this. Uh, uh, okay, really, there you go. Okay. <laughs> He's trying to embarrass us. Okay, so take it away. Introduce yourself. In English, we can go. Wait. Yeah, okay. You don't have to sit, you can sit straight. My director is telling me to sit straight, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. There you go. Um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Heze Kia Jogona. Welcome to Friday Briefing. And to start off, the coalition of exiled broody opposition, Mnada uh, Haraka, Brody opposition groups have spoken in response to aggressive former Tanzanian leader Benjamin Mkapa to restart the peace process. They say that Mark's statement that opposition officials under Enda Pole Aki. Thank you. Will not be inaugurated in the peace. Thanks, Aki. Aki, Munada Hanaka. The talks in Geopardy. Can, can we start again? Okay, can we start okay. again slowly? Okay. Please let's start again and then slowly. Yeah? Slowly. Aya. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. The coalition of exile Burundi opposition leader, spokesman in response to the... Thank you. In response, sorry, I beg your pardon. In by former Tanzanian leader Benjamin Mpaka, Mkapa to restart the peace process, they said that by past the settlement that the opposition officials will under arrest will not be inaugurated in the peace that will put it into jeopardy even before Haki Imekata. Okay, let's just have the story. Imekata. <laughs> 78-year-old former Tanzanian leader has had a very busy schedule since he touched down in Bujumbura on Wednesday this week. From meetings with Burundi's top leadership... <laughs> ...to meetings with members of the diplomatic corps, civil society organizations and political parties, Mkapa says he has been on one mission, that of striking balance on a roadmap to avoiding a repeat scenario of what happened after the disputed presidential elections in July 2015 come next Burundi elections in 2020. So those who think I'm the one that is rending legitimacy are absolutely out of their minds. Quote me, they are absolutely out of their minds. Ambassadors come here, they present credentials to President Nkuruziza. The Security Council resolutions recognize him as the president of this country. So what is this foolishness? We are spending a lot of time talking about an event that is all over. That is why the communicator says we should emphasize on creating conditions that will make such confusion obsolete come 2020. 
Exiled opposition figures argue that Murunziza's bid to run for office had violated the constitution, with some calling for the formation of a government of national unity to avoid civil unrest. It is clear that you know people who have um, who have been indicted or charged with the with the attempted coup. Uh, this is not the time to talk to them. Construction of electoral systems that enjoy the confidence of the majority, Mkapa says, is one of the best ways of avoiding post-election related disputes in Africa. And then if it's a multi-party situation, the multi-parties should obviously subscribe to such, to such a constitution and should have a say and also subscribe to the electoral process, the election process. Once that agreement has been reached and the elections have, been taken, have taken place in an atmosphere which is... Uh, which is recognized as being free and fair, people should accept losing and should celebrate winning. The ESC facilitator for the Inter-Burundi dialogue leaves Bujumbura today. There is hope that there will be a way forward in finding a final solution to the impasse that is facing Burundi concerning the political crisis here. For KTN News in Bujumbura, I'm Eugene Anangwe reporting. Okay, so we are back. Jugosh, I'll just have to rate you and I'll give you a one out of ten. And the one is just because of the effort. One near Gina. Actually, what is this for your name? Which you actually stammered, but it's okay. Uh. Please rate Jugosh. Tell, tell us what you think, uh. how you think he did. I beg your pardon and mark you. All that I was getting it from my head. That's not true. <laughs> Everything is on the auto queue. All right, so take us on a break. Okay, thank you very much. We apologize for that mess up, but we're going to come back. Remember, this is Friday Briefing with Betty Kialo, Johanna, Aman, Deep, and the man, Kush. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to Friday Briefing. Let's now get you updated on the latest in business. And auditors working in both public and the private sector have been challenged to remain steadfast in ensuring there is financial transparency in their workings if Kenya is to end graft. According to Frederick Riaga of the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya, no form of intimidation should be exercised on auditors. His statements uh, his sentiments rather come on the back of uh, Benson Mushere, a public auditor who lifted the lead over alleged misappropriation of funds in the Ministry of Health that saw nearly five billion shillings siphoned. And accountancy by and large exists to protect public interest. So then when you see auditors coming out to express their opinions bluntly on the issues as they are, then auditors are doing that in the interest of the public, mm -hmm. yes. And um, looking at what the auditor in this case of the Afia House probe, um, uh, Mr. Mushere, he came out and uh, blew the whistle saying close to five billion shillings um, is in question at the Ministry of Health. Perhaps um, this is a one-off case. How do we ensure that um, we have auditors who are quite independent and can also ensure that um, they give accurate um, reports when it comes to financial transparency? Um, again, one, one of the principles in forming internal audit um, is that of independence and objectivity. So then uh, professional, um, uh, professional internal auditor would uh, carry out his roles, functions independently and objectively. So then do I have facts uh, to back up a case, to back up a finding, a, a finding on, on a lapse within the system mm -hmm. that may occasion uh, loss of public funds, then I am duty bound to bring it up. Five years down the line, the government is set to relaunch the Mtongwe ferry in two weeks in a bid to ease transportation across the Likoni Channel. Initially, the Mtongwe ferry was to be reintroduced on 1st of this month, but failed to, due to lack of fans. Here's Ashley Missouri with an update on why the government is prioritizing to solve the ferry wars. In a crippling transport crisis, but some of the sins familiar to residents of the coastal city of Mombasa who endure crossing via the Likoni ferry. And after years of complaints, the government to fix the mechanical breakdowns akin with the ferry transportation mode on the island, a solution appears to be in sight. 
This follows intervention by the government to restore the Tongwe Channel ferry services in the next two weeks. Apart from having the ferry back, the Ministry of Transport has further committed to deliver two new ferries being constructed in Turkey at a cost of 1.3 billion shillings by June 2017 to boost the aging fleet and fast track the 5 billion shilling cable car project as an alternative transport. With the Likoni crossing serving over 5,000 passengers per day, investments on the channel is seen as a welcome move for the business community. Laxity in speeding up development of the ferry has locked out investments to the south coast, which holds enormous potential for investors. Ashley Mazuri, KTN News. Kenya Power aims to speed up the number of customers it adds to the grid in, the, in this year. I beg your pardon. Uh, in the year to June, as part of its plans to improve access across uh, the nation, where only two thirds of the population are connected. In the year uh, to June 2016, Kenya, Kenya Power Company added 1.2 million new customers to reach a total of 4.89 million. It aims to add 1.5 million new clients, including households and businesses, by the end of June 2017. Kenya Power aims to secure additional revenue by leasing extra capacity on its fiber optic network via its subsidiary, Kenya Power International. Fiber optic leasing earned Kenya Power revenue of 259 million shillings in 2014-2015, 271 million shillings in 2015-2016, and this was expected to rise uh, to 400 million in 2016-2017. All right, now delegates uh, from more than 12 African countries attending a conference on agricultural innovation in Nairobi have emphasized that investments in research and development are essential to ensure consistent and equitable growth that translates into higher incomes and improved food security. While well, speaking in Nairobi earlier today, research leaders pointed that the role of research was critical in boosting output. Data on R&D has shown that every dollar invested in agriculture uh, has generated $3.6 uh, in returns. Other interventions fronted by for the, for, at the forum uh, call for the close engagement of public research organizations with private sector as key players in the development, financing and scaling of innovations. From the western part of Kenya, I am Robert Wanyonyi, and this is KTN News. All right, so it's now time for Mind Your Language, and uh, let me bring in Willis, the word master, joining us live from Kisumu County. Willis, how are you today, or this evening? Fine, thanks, Betty. You look uh, good and, uh, you know, always on fire when it comes to Friday briefing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Willis, for that. All right, so how about we start with the yes. uh, word on the street? Restaurante, restaurante, restaurante. Restaurata, restaurata, restaurata. Restoria, restoria, restoria. Restoratia, restoratia, restoratia. Prestrota, prestrota, prestrota. Restorotia, restorotia, 
Restaurantia. La Stareta. La Stareta. La Stareta. Ok, Restaurant. 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 Ama, restaurant. 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 Listaritas. Litaritas. Litaritas. Okay, uh, Willis. How do we say that word? Uh, I won't even try. The, the guy with the dreadlocks just got me. Rasta rata. <laughs> but you know, I won't laugh because I don't know. I'm not even sure how to go but it about happens, it. It happens, but. Uh... <laughs> There is no problem, Betty. You see, I said when it comes to laughing for the sake of learning, yeah. that is normal. What I've been trying to say or what I occasionally say is it's not good for somebody to laugh at another person yeah. when you're not sure whether you can <laughs> pronounce it you know, correctly yeah. or inaccurately. But Betty, this is a very tricky word. Definitely. Given to anybody. Yeah. What you say is restoreta, restoreta. <laughs> Now you say restorata. So Rest. a restorata is a person who owns and manages, you know, mm -hmm. a restaurant. Yeah. So you say so and so is a restorata. So it's a tricky one. And remember, mm -hmm. when we talk of restaurant, you can also say restaurant. Rest. Some of these words can be very tricky, Betty, especially mm. on the streets. Just. Just uh, talk to us about that. Willis, did you say restaurateur? <laughs> Is that it? Yes. Okay. Restaurateur. Okay. Good. Restaurateur. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. At least I'm awake. I'm not sleeping. I'm listening keenly. All right, Willis. Let's uh, move on to another word on, the, on my list. Uh, do we say energizer, energizer? Because previously, Willis, you've talked to us about electricity. Yes. Now... Mm. When you come to this word, Betty, in fact, uh, it's from the word energy, uh, energy. Uh. So what we should avoid is saying energizer, energizer. Okay. That is not accurate. We say a eh, energizer, an energizer. So that one is, you know, acceptable. So you say energize, energize. energizer, energy. energy. So e, no, you avoid ina. Ina, okay. no. You say ena. Ena. Energizer. All right, Willis, got it. Moving on to this other word. Do we say yes. crematorium or crematorium? You say cre. Crematorium. Mm. Okay. Crematorium. crematorium. We should not say crema. Yes, cre. Crematorium. All right, Willis. Moving on to another word. I've just, I just said this word a few minutes uh, ago during the bulletin, uh, the business bulletin. Is it to siphon or to siphon? You can use siphon. Okay. If I got you right. Yes. You are talking of S I P H O N. Yeah. That is to siphon, like siphoning yes. fuel okay. to siphon, All siphon. Right. To you siphon. can also say fun, but fun is also acceptable. Siphon, siphon, yeah? I'll be saying siphon, sounds fancier. <laughs> siphon, siphon, siphon or siphon. Right. All right, Willis, moving on to the, the other words. And uh, we have beleaguered. Is that the correct pronunciation of that word? Beleaguered, yes, beleaguered. that is the way to say that word. Okay. Belie, beleaguered, mm -hmm. beleaguered, right. lee. You have the long vowel sound e in lee, beleaguered. Okay, we just got it, beleaguered. All right, moving on to the other yes. one. Um, you hear about people saying taxation, taxation, you know, is it x or taxation? Yeah, which is which? You Willis? say taxation. In fact, that word has no voiced sound. Some people find themselves saying taxation. Uh -huh. Some say taxation, which is <laughs> wrong. We say taxation. Tax. Taxation. So tag, no. Tax. Okay. Taxation. 
All right, Willis, got it. Moving on to the S to this other word, do you say to dissect, dissect? Um, how do we go about that one? <clears throat> well, that one has uh, two acceptable pronunciations. What we call now the alternatives, Betty. Okay. So you can say dissect, and you can also say dissect. All right. Just like yes. finance and finance. Okay. That's, dissect, uh, that, uh -huh. dissect. That also goes for data and data. Is that correct? Which one? Data, like data or data. Do you say are those two words yeah. correct? You say data and uh -huh. data. And you can say data. data. You can also say data. Okay, Willis. Moving on to this other word. This one, I'll spell it out. C-A-V-E-A-T. Caveat, caveat. How do we say that one, Willis? You say caveat. Caveat. All right. That is normally a formal word, you know, commonly used in, you know, matters law and all that. Uh-huh. Caveat. Caveat. All right. Moving on to this other word, Willis. And yes. uh, this time round, it's uh, our feedback question. It comes from Dina Chepchumba. Um, he's, she's asking about this word, premature, premature. How do we say that one? Betty, that one may be, you know, it may sound as a very big surprise to many people, but... You know, we say premature, premature, huh? you can also say premature, premature, premature. <laughs> Willis, if you say so pre premature, who will understand? Where do we get premature? Yeah. So that premature, get it from me, Betty, that is the standard pronunciation of that word under RP. But it's not commonly used locally. You see, mm -hmm. sometimes we have what we call now the world Englishes or regional, you know, pronunciations. Some words, you know, can be commonly pronounced in a way in a certain place. When you come now to the standard pronunciation, if you can remember when we started with the word tortoise, many people were like, what? <laughs> it's not tortoise. You know, that is what is commonly used locally. Yeah, tortoise. The word is tortoise. tortoise. Now, this one also, we say premature or premature so the two pronunciations can be used for those ones and betty if you don't mind premature. there is the name that you've mentioned there mm -hmm. is it d-i-n-a-h mm -hmm. it's i said it wrongly yeah, it's not d-i-n-a-h that is dina what dina. normally we are used okay. to saying dina locally but it's normally dina dina so i think that should be somebody <gasps> dina chepchumba oh Wow, that's a surprise, Willis. Dina. Yes. Okay. I know. It's, it's it a... happens, Betty. Dina Chepchumba. Uh -huh. Okay. It's just the same way, you know, you said it's not Beatrice, but yes. Beatrice. <laughs> Beatrice. Pardon? It's just the same. Yeah, I yeah. told you the other day, it's, you know, what we see with us, we would say Beatrice yes. locally, but the name is actually Beatrice. We yeah. also have Beatify, mm. not Beatify. Mm -hmm. You get that? Uh, yes, I get so that. So we also have Diana, not Diana. <laughs> Diana, not Diana. So okay. Dina, not Dina. So wow, some of these okay. names are a bit tricky, Betty. Very tricky, actually. All right, Willis. Um, what do you have yes. any other surprise so word maybe for us? I would. Uh, I have uh, Amos on Soti uh, wanted to know how to say. You know, we have the word sport. Sport, especially in the British English, yeah. we talk of sport, which is uncountable. But in American English, you would say sports. So it's about, you know, personal or institutional preference or choice. Mm. Somebody can use sport if you are sticking to the British English, but you can also use sports. That is if you are inclined to the American English. Then James Mbo, we say way. Lavenda Simiu. It's gem. G E M in English is gem. Gem. But those who come from Sierra may also raise a question, Betty, because there is a location called Game. Game. I think it's also a constituency, if I'm not wrong. Uh, that is gem. G E M mm. in English. We talk of gem, like gemstones yeah. and all that. And we have Deno or Girl. You say Kanja. Kanja, not Konjua. Oh. Kanja. Kanja. Then Evans Bosire. Kanja, to Kanja, not to conjure. <laughs> okay. Then Evans Bosire, you say gubernatorial, gubernatorial, not Gaba. And we also say <laughs> Uber, Uber, not Abba. <laughs> then Betty, there are people who are very excited about your program. Oh, really? <laughs> 
like we have Ken Kowo, Milton Dibogo and Zina, if you like Zena uh -huh. Asnath of Nazarene University Eldoret. Okay. Then Francis Lopao, Edwin Emokule and Jackson Ongoro, plus the lady here who calls herself Nelly Nyakan, if I've gotten the pronunciation right. Uh, okay. But the point is we have always to say Thank you so much for loving the program. Willis, then the surprise word for tonight, Betty. Willis, you know those, uh, you know, they're called Mafans Kibao. Maybe I can just teach you maybe a bit of, you know, <laughs> Sheng, Kibao, Mafans Kibao. Betty, can you come up on that again? Can you say it again? Mafans Kibao. <laughs> Mafans? Kibao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because, you know, when you do some good work, you know, something that is, uh, you know, what you're doing is quite captivating, uh, then always be there. You say Kibao. Kibao. <laughs> Mafans like Kibao. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Betty, okay. our surprise word for tonight. Mm. We have the past tense or past participle of the verb eek. Eek is E-K-E. -E. Yes. To eek a living or to eke out a living by farming and all that. Mm -hmm. So when we have E-K-E-D, we say eked. He eked a living or he eked out. Eked, not act. Many people would say to eke out a living, which is wrong. You say to eke out a living. So the past tense or the past participle of that verb eek is eked. Eked. We should avoid saying act. Act is a wrong pronunciation of this word, Betty. Okay. To eke out a living, he or she eked out a living. Then finally, the confusing words. Mm. We have the upper one is magnet. Magnet. But when you come to the lower word that ends in A-T-E, yeah. you now say Magnet, magnet. There is that slight vowel glide. Magnet. A, A. Uh. Nate. Nate. The magnate. other one is net with uh -huh. the pure sound A. Uh -huh. But the lower one, Nate. Okay. A business, magnet. Okay. Magnet. So, that is all from me, Betty. Eh, Willis, sour. Got it. Those words tonight, <laughs> premature, prima, 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 was that the word? Premature? <laughs> Premature. Premature. Premature, but what we are used to also <laughs> can be, you, you can also say premature. Okay. Premature okay. or premature. Even uh, uh, our cameraman, Muru Nicholas, is saying Willis. Ngumu sana you. Hiya, Willis. Thank you so much. <laughs> Willis there. Always a pleasure having you on the show, teaching us those difficult pronunciations. Mm -hmm. Uh, like the first word, the word on the My street. Pleasure, yeah. All right, Willis. You can always get him on his Twitter handle at Willis Cheng One if you have uh, further questions. Questions, not question. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you can always catch him. Yeah, right, Willis. I'm a good student, Willis. All right. So that's it for Mind the Language tonight. Uh, catch Willis again next uh, week here on Friday Briefing.